Hey guys, what's going on? So I've received a ton of questions about color grading and my general workflow for working with the Mavic Pro. So this is what I wanna do. I wanna give you a quick video that kind of goes through my process so you can see in real time how quick I'm going through and grading this footage. The method I'm using works really well because I'm shooting vlogs, I'm shooting lots of daily content. I shoot everything in log. In terms of my drone footage, I'm shooting just everything in art. So everything needs to be graded. So if I have 10 minute videos that I'm shooting daily when we're traveling, I need to be able to work fast and efficient because I can't be spending five hours a day working on color grades when I the next day I'm going on a different venture somewhere else. So guys, let's go through my basic settings first. All right, so on the DJI Mavic Pro, I'm shooting in the art mode with sharpness at plus one. I'm leaving contrast at zero and I'm leaving saturation at zero. And with my Sony a6500, I'm shooting in S-Log2. Okay, so let's get into color grading. So here we are, I use Final Cut Pro and I use Color Finale, which is an awesome editing software. If you haven't worked with it and you're editing in Final Cut Pro, then guys, you've got to download a trial. You've got to check it out. I put a link in the description. It's a really cool piece of software and it allows you to have an awesome workflow right within Final Cut Pro. Okay guys, so here's the two shots that we're gonna grade. So this first one is from the DJI Maverick Pro. This is a shot of an island that we took a sailboat to. Super pretty, you can see the just the color of the water already and I haven't even started color grading it yet. I mean, it looks awesome. And the second shot is from my A6500. We ca captured this whale jumping just not that far from the boat and it was awesome. And with the A6500, I was hand holding the shot on a 70 millimeter lens and I was able to get that. So that's one reason I love that camera so much. All right, let's pull up color finale. So with Color Finale, you basically have these different options for color grading. You got your color wheels, you've got your curves, you've got your LUTs, and then you've got your more in-depth tweaking of individual colors. So I like to use a mix of all these when I'm grading. I'm gonna open up my scopes, which is Apple 7. So I brought up my scopes, which is a great tool to use when you're color grading. When you're using your Luma, you can see at the very bottom, your zeros is where your darks are, your hundreds are where your whites are, so you can see nothing's overexposing, nothing's underexposing, and then you could also see your color space, so if you were to shoot something and it was a little bit off in color, you would see like a spike in the red, the green, the blue. Also, your vector scope shows you if you're pushing way too much in one direction with your colors. All right, so let's do a quick test. So I'm gonna take the the darks and I'm just gonna push them right into the red. And you can see right there, obviously the image looks like crap. If you go to our scopes, the RGB parade, you could see how the darks, I just, I pulled the red straight up. And now I can go back to level it out and the image is starting to look better. So you could use your RGB parade to play with your colors. So if you're getting a spike in the blue channel, the green channel, the red channel, you can go right in here into your lift gamma gain and tweak it where you need it to go or push it in the direction that you want. When I start my color grade, I'm first start with my lift gamma gain. What I'll do is I'll bring my highlights to where I want them. So I might, I'm gonna bring them past. I'm gonna watch on my luma, luma curve over here and then I'm gonna dial it back to where I'm happy. So those clouds are starting to expose. So about there. And then I'll bring my darks down and I, I wanna bring those up. So the, the image is pretty crushed already. And then with my mids, I might bring that up a tad, then dial back my lift even down further. So it has a good starting. So in your color wheels here, this is off and back on. You can already tell it's looking much better from where it was. So now what I'll go in and do is add a LUT. There's a ton of awesome LUTs that I've included in the description below that I use from Color Grading Central. The impulse LUTs are really cool and then the ascend LUTs are awesome. So I already graded this to, you know, some, somewhere close with Rec 709. So with these LUTs, you just have to play around and find the ones that you like the most. There's a lot that don't necessarily work. I want something that's a little more tropical looking. Okay, I like the way this one looks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna bring it on maybe like 40% cool. And then the last, what I do is, is my vectors. So I'll start tweaking the, the hues of the different colors in the spectrum. So you could push your, you know, your yellows around, your blues around, your greens around. I'm liking where this is at already. So, and the last thing I might do is if maybe I'll warm up the image a little bit. That's my 
basic process when I'm working with DJI Mavic Pro footage is I play with my lights and my darks, I then add a LUT, and then I mess around with the hues and saturations from there. So this image is looking pretty good from where it's at. Sometimes I might push the image further if I'm really going for a specific look. You know, this I want that more turquoise look, which is what I'm getting. And I can even push that further. So if I have these blues, I could push them more, make them even more turquoise. And it just, the water looks awesome. So when I'm editing a project that I have Mavic footage and S-Log footage, what I could do is just Command C, copy that effect, paste it on here. Obviously it's not gonna be the same grade because I'm, this is S-Log footage. But what I could do, now that I have it pasted, I have a general grade to go from. So I'm gonna turn these off, whatever I tweaked, and I'm gonna go back to my wheels and actually grade it by hand and bring your blacks to where you want them, your whites up, and I'm just using my Luma curve to watch where the image is going. And then I'll go add my LUT. I'll dial that where I want for the LUT. I might bring it a little bit different with S log, so I might bring it on a little stronger. And then my vectors, boom, add that. And then I'll watch the shots against each other. And guys, that's my process for color grading when I'm using S-Log footage and DJI Mavic Pro art footage. Guys, go check out our last vlog from Maui. Right now I'm working on this awesome one on a sailboat. My last vlog from Maui, you could see some cool stuff. And I shot all of this in log. I shot all of this in art mode on the DJI Mavic Pro. So you get a real sense that I'm taking these 10 minute pieces and I'm color grading them from start to finish. So my process when I color grade a vlog is that I'll get the whole edit done. Then I'll figure out my look on one or two clips and then I'll basically copy that throughout and watch the video and tweak each clip individually from the beginning to the end. I prefer color grading working with log footage rather than you know just getting an image out of the camera. Things are always, always overexposed, underexposed, and it looks like not the best. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Leave some comments in the description below. Let me know if you want more in-depth color grading tutorials that go after specific topics or that dive more into color grading when you have more time you're working on something like a commercial or a film or something where you're going to want to sit down and grade it even more this is my quick workflow this works great for my vlogs this works great for projects that i want to get out the door stuff on youtube you know stuff that i'm not spending days and days working on the edit guys make sure you subscribe check out color finale in the link below i've added a, a trial to it so you could try it for a week Color Gradient Central also has some great LUTs if you're looking for LUTs. There's tons of LUTs online as well. You guys, have a great day. Check out our vlogs. we got some really cool stuff. Right now we're in Maui, and then we don't know where we're going next. We're spending an entire year traveling. So let me know what you're looking for in terms of tutorials, tips, and other videos in the filmmaking world, and I'll try to get those made wherever we're at. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.